Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be finding out what happens if you steal John's hat and then return to the Valentine Saloon wearing it while he's there. Now, when I say John, I'm not referring to John Marston. I'm referring to a special character that you can run into in-game called John. And he can actually be found in the Smithfield Saloon in Valentine from chapter two onward. And to give you a little bit of a better idea of who John is, uh, I'm actually gonna let you take a listen to this conversation right here. Uh, you ain't worth two shits all this time, all right? After before, I, I'm sure one wary of you. Tree, uh, one buffalo, one redskin. I shot 19 of them once. Well, buffalo, no redskins. Don't know how many redskins are killed, but they deserved it. They weren't Christians, so I sent them to hell. How you should thank me. All you fools should thank me. Hey, they're good looking. <laughs> Ain't no Wild West no more around here. Ain't nothing. Nothing nice. You're real funny. It's more goddamn uh -huh. America. More goddamn shots. More goddamn prissy women in men's like clothing it. and women in women's clothing thinking they must be men. My old Bessie, she could skin a bear with her teeth, so help me God. Look at you. Y'all make a fella sick. Quentin, go get me another drink. I'm not listening. Shit mouth little ferret. No surprises there. Just part of life around here. Fun with you, fool. Well, look at y'all. Look at you. If you see young Michael My sleep time? on the table over there, don't wake him man, up. Man, it was goddamn men. His wife's been giving you ain't him men. all kinds the of trouble. You ain't men. Look at you. I expect well. You ain't I men. He can't get even the women. Until the storm passes. You're no. You're something else. Man, that last You're drink, revolting. You <laughs> I'm revolted. Hey, I'm tempted to gouge my eyes out just for the fact that they saw you. I wouldn't do you the dignity of pissing on you. None of you. Oh. Uh, I can't County. believe what this dump is coming to. What's your problem, partner? Yeah, you with the squinty eyes and the and the big old head and the women's breeches. You. Okay, so you can clearly see that this guy, Grizzle John, is not a very nice guy. He rants about Indians and his dislike for natives. He also holds a grudge against the inhabitants of Valentine's. And it would appear that he dislikes many more demographics. And in another monologue, he says that he has actually eaten human meat of white people as well as Native Americans as well as feces when he ran out of people to eat on a journey gone wrong. So John, let's just say, is a pretty creepy individual. And if you actually stare at him long enough, John will become irritated and will begin to attack Arthur. And I'm sure you guys have noticed the very interesting outfit he's wearing, and it's all topped off by a special raccoon hat. Now, you have to engage in a fist fight with him in order to actually take him out. Now, John is much harder to take down than normal NPCs. You can't just start swinging your fist at him and expect to win this fight. He's going to have a lot of different counter moves, and he's going to hit you really, really hard. It's kind of similar to the fight you had with Tommy, which is, ironically enough, in the exact same location. So you are going to have to know, like, counter moves and dodging moves in order to take him out. And what I think is cool is it sort of triggers this event around the bar where all the citizens in Valentine will just start to huddle around and watch. And the law, like, won't get involved, too, which is the best part about this whole thing. So you really can just have, like, this fight club uh, with uh, John over here 
so it is sort of a cool encounter. Now, after you win the fight, you will have the option to take John's hat. However, if you want to have a secret outcome, you want to keep him alive. So simply just knocking him out won't do anything. He's obviously not dead. And you, of course, can claim the classic Raccoon Mountain hat. Now, this is a special hat, and it will be instantly added to your wardrobe. It does look pretty unique, let's just say that, and that is the first encounter you can have with John. Now, what's interesting is you can actually have other encounters with John. Again, we didn't kill him there. We just knocked him out, so he's still alive. Now, you won't see John in the Valentine's Saloon for a handful of days, so if you are looking to encounter him again, you're going to need to either progress through the game or you're going to need to sleep several times over. That's the only way in which you're going to see him again. He sort of takes a break from the Valentine Saloon. However, a couple of days later, if you do return, you can actually find him there. And one big difference you will notice is that he is not wearing his signature raccoon hat. Clearly, because you have stolen it, and now it belongs to you. I guess you could say you took it as a trophy for winning the fight. And John doesn't seem to recognize who you are, at least if you walk in without the raccoon hat on. However, things take an interesting twist if you decide to put it on. Now, if you decide to do that, John will immediately see you and without hesitation will instantly attack you. He sort of goes into this rage mode when he sees his special hat and he wants it back. And what will happen is this will trigger another fight scene and fight club interaction where you have to choose to beat up John once again. That is such a cool detail there from Rockstar. The fact that if you knock this guy out, not only would he still be alive, he would consistently return to the Valentine Saloon, but he would be back without his raccoon hat and would act normal to you unless you put the raccoon hat on. It's this special item that causes him to go into a rage mode. And the fight you're gonna have with him after that is just as significantly tough. His strength did not diminish at all from the previous encounter. So if you want to take him out once again, you're going to need to bring your best fight. Now, knocking him out again does not reward you anything else. In fact, I looted him the first time, which got me wanted. Not the actual fight itself got me wanted, but looting him gave me, I think, like 47 cents or something like that. Like, it's, it's not a significant amount of money at all. And what's really funny is this will happen over and over and over again. You can actually visit John on multiple occasions. Again, you would just ha simply have to sleep for a couple of days or progress through the game. And then again, if you return a couple days later, he'll be back at the Valentine Saloon and you'll have the option to take him out once again. But he will only get aggressive and recognize you if you have the raccoon hat on. If you don't, he will just be a normal civilian. In fact, this character John is so hell-bent on getting his raccoon hat, I've even seen him go into players' hotel rooms. Like if they wake up and spawn with his raccoon hat on, he will go into the Valentine Hotel to fight them. That is serious dedication just to get a cap back. So honestly, at the end of the day, I don't feel bad about doing this to John, consistently beating him up. I mean, he's bragged about hunting Indians and massacred those that he's encountered. In fact, he even claims that he's eaten the heart of one of an Indian. That is just super creepy. So I do not feel bad for this guy at all because he seems like really a rough, not so great person. Now, we've talked about John in previous videos because he looks incredibly similar to the Sasquatch Hunter from the first Red Dead Redemption game, and he also has a very similar appearance to the Sasquatch Hunter from Grand Theft Auto V. So I think this is Rockstar putting this character in the game throughout their Red Dead Redemption and GTA titles. I'm not sure what the lineage connection would be, but this is a character that we've run into in the past, and in all instances, they do seem to be pretty odd. But I will say the one in Red Dead Redemption 2 definitely takes the cake is probably the meanest, and the one I definitely wouldn't want to hang out with, that's for sure. 
But anyways, that right there is sort of a secret outcome that you might not have known about the minor special character, John, that you can meet in Red Dead Redemption 2. Again, it's so cool, the little details that Rockstar introduced into this game, that the fact that this guy wouldn't bat an eye if he saw you again, but if you have that raccoon hat on, he'll instantly recognize that it's his and he'll want to get it back. So I thought this was super neat and it was a really fun encounter to check out. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.